America has always had a frontier. Now that frontier is upward and it's out into the cosmos. And we will continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. You know, it's been a very collaborative effort across multiple NASA centers with our industry partners. This team, we've done a tremendous amount of work getting ready from designing, manufacturing, and testing the spacecraft to ensure its success as we embark on our first mission to the moon. Our return to the moon will be different than the last time. We plan to explore more of the lunar surface and learn how to live and work there. And here we go. Ten, Hydrogen ten. burnoff igniters initiate. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. First Earth views. This view of Earth captured from a human rated spacecraft not seen since 1972. be about 38,000 miles away from the lunar surface as we orbit around it. We're going beyond anywhere we ever went for Apollo. 50 years ago, Apollo 17 guided Challenger to a pinpoint landing on a barren rock-strewn area of the moon called Taurus Litro. A half century later, the Orion spacecraft is barreling its way back home after circumnavigating the moon and beyond in an elliptical distant retrograde orbit Droves have been deployed. Good main shoots for Orion. Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Litro to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth.